Holzman's here. Roop's here. The agenda rooms here. Could somebody respond to let me know our volume was turned way down? We can hear you. I can hear you, Morris. Okay. Let's have a loud mess or I turn up more. The hazard of moving agenda to noon for a hearing. <laughs> not that I'm complaining, because I'm not. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good. Good morning. Hiding, Hiding in the corner there. Yep. <clears throat> So far, so good. So far, so good. Yes, sir. No, I don't care. Just the flag? Just the flag. That's cool. Yeah. Amazon. <laughs> <clears throat> there you go. We have two now. Commissioner Coleman is here. Good morning, Commissioner. For one good morning, more minute. Mr. All right. Is uh, our Commissioner's Ruben Holton on? We are Fisher. here. All right. We're all here. We will go right at noon. <clears throat> you close yet? It is now 12 o'clock, so uh, we will call the agenda meeting to order. Ask those participating, please mute your phone unless you need to speak. Um, we have seven tariffs and new orders today, one closed litigation item, um, and then there will also be a Universal Service Fund board meeting immediately following the closed agenda. Um, and I think I think that'll be, is that a separate call in there, Madam Chairman? Madam Chair? Yes, yes it is, Mr. Chairman. All there right, is so a different we'll, phone number for it and everything. All right, so we will uh, move over to that after we close the uh, closed session. So uh, first order of business is to approve the minutes from July 7th. You all have seen those. Are there any additions or corrections? All right, hearing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes from July 7th, say aye. 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 Those are approved five to zero. Uh, again, seven tariffs and new orders today. So first up is file number WR-2022-0303 and SR-2022-0304. This is in the matter of Missouri American Water Company's request for authority to implement general rate increase for water and sewer service provided in the Missouri service areas. Um, Missouri Americans filed tariffs requesting to increase their rates. So this order suspends those, um, the effective date of those tariffs to May 18th of 2023 provides notice that this is a contested case and delegates authority uh, over discovery matters to the regulatory law judge assigned on the case. So with that, I recommend that we approve this order version one. Commissioner Roof. Commissioner Roof. Did we lose Commissioner Roof? I heard him get on, Mr. Chairman. He, he was on yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, Oh, can you hear me? Commissioner Roop. Sorry, yeah, yep. my mute sort button was sticking. So, yes, gotcha. I'm supporting right. your order. Okay, 
Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. Mr. Holzmeyer? And I do as well. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number GR 2021-0320. This is in the matter of the Empire District Gas Company. DBA Liberties request to file tariffs to change its rates in for natural gas service. So on June 23rd, we issued a report in order in this case. Um, the report uh, did two things. It approved the unopposed stipulation and agreement that resolved most of the issues in the case. And then secondly, it rejected both of the Missouri School Board Association's requests. Um, on July 13th, the School Board Association filed an application for rehearing uh, or reconsideration. Um, I believe that the report and order appropriately re rejected both of the School Board Association's proposals, uh, so I don't believe uh, that they've raised any new argument or other reason to sufficiently justify the request. So I recommend that we approve this order um, denying the request, version one. Commissioner Root? I uh, concur and I'm supporting the order. Commissioner Coleman? I support the order. Commissioner Holzman? I support the order. Commissioner Kolkmeyer? And I do as well. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one say aye. 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 Order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number EC 2022-0315. This is the staff of the Missouri Public Service Commission complainant, v. Evergy Missouri West. DBA Evergy Missouri West respondent. Uh, so this order approves a joint procedural schedule proposed by the parties uh, with one edit to avoid filing on a holiday. Um, the evidentiary hearing will be set for January 24th and 25th of 2023. Um, so I recommend we approve this order version one. Commissioner Roop. Commissioner Roop. We'll circle back and see. Sorry, sorry, I keep getting booted. It's like the third time. Um, I'm back, I think. So yeah, I'm, I'm supporting this order as well. Okay. All right, Commissioner Coleman? I support the order. Commissioner Holzman? I support the order. Commissioner Kochmeyer? And I also support the order. All right, all those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one say aye. 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 Order is approved five to zero. Um, next up, file number DA 2022-0331. This is in the matter of the application of Big River Broadband LLC, DBA Circle Fiber, for designation as an eligible, eligible telecommunications carrier to receive federal lifeline and state lifeline support. Um, Circle Fiber asks for ETC status in portions of Cape Girardeau and Butler counties uh, to receive federal and state lifeline support. Staff filed a recommendation to approve the request uh, saying that they comply with all the necessary regulations. So this order grants ETC status and finds good cause for a waiver of the 60-day notice requirement, and I recommend we approve this order, version 1. Commissioner Roop. I am supporting this order. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. Commissioner Kolkmeyer. And I do as well. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted, version 1, say aye. 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 Orders approved five to zero. Next up, file number WA 2022-0311. This is in the matter of Missouri American Water Company for a certificate of convenience and necessity, authorizing it to install, own, acquire, construct, operate, control, manage, and maintain a water system and sewer system in and around the city of Stewartsville. OPC filed a motion uh, to order a local public hearing in this case and to include projected bill impacts in the notice. Missouri American filed opposition to both of those requests, uh, citing several interactions with city officials and residents, uh, but in the alternative asked for a virtual hearing. So this order directs a virtual public hearing to be held on the basis that new information can be provided in such a hearing and that the previous interactions Missouri American had uh, what should not replace a commission-led hearing. Uh, the order also directs the parties to file specific language regarding potential bill impacts for consideration. So I recommend we approve this order, version one. Commissioner Roop? Yeah, I'm in support of the order, and I also just wanted to just comment that 
the participation at local public hearings has, in my opinion, has increased since we started having the virtual option, which I think is a, a very positive thing to get more feedback from uh, from people. I couldn't agree more. I remember several local public hearings uh, where commissioners would be present and no one would testify. So yeah. uh, I, I, I don't remember very many virtual ones with no one testifying. So um, I agree with everything you had to say there. Uh, Commissioner Coleman? I agree also, and I approve the order. Okay. Commissioner Holtzman? I support the order. Commissioner Kolkmeyer? And I do as well. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one, say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number EC 2022-0291. This is Gloria or Glory Pittsenbarger, complainant, V Empire District Electric Company, DBA Liberty Respondent. Uh, this order sets a procedural schedule in the case and a hearing to be held via WebEx on August 8th. I recommend we approve this order version one. Commissioner Root. I am supporting this order. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. Mr. Coleman. And I do as well. All right, all those in favor of approving the orders drafted version one, say aye. 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 Orders approved five to zero. Final order today is file number WA 2022-0311. This is a matter of Missouri American Water Company for a certificate of convenience and necessity, authorizing it to install, own, acquire, construct, operate, control, manage, and maintain a water system and sewer system in and around the city of Stewartsville. <clears throat> Staff filed a request for extension of 90 days by which to file its recommendation, citing the need to review discovery and potentially seek additional information uh, based on what has been provided. Missouri American countered with a 45-day extension, citing the limited issues in the case and volunteered to expedite DR responses to 10 days. Um, this order, however, does grant the full 90-day extension request. Um, I would note that staff uh, may file its recommendation early if 90 days is not Need, uh, fully needed, uh, but I also acknowledge that staff is uh, stretched pretty thin right now and um, would uh, need to prioritize its resources. So uh, with that, I recommend we approve this order version one. Commissioner Root? I will be supporting this order. Commissioner Coleman? I support the order. Commissioner Holzman? I support the order. Mr. Kolkmeyer. And I do as well. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one, say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Uh, that concludes reports and orders. I would note that we just had seven consecutive orders that were all version one. So um, I would two like weeks to, in a row. I know two weeks in a row. So I would like to commend <laughs> the judges and everyone involved in writing the orders uh, lately that we've all gotten through with no revisions. So. Um, Good job on that. Um, all right, so we do have uh, an, a closed litigation to item today, but before that, we'll discuss scheduling. Um, well, we no longer have uh, the case today. So um, Sunday, July 17th through Wednesday, July 20th um, is the Nehru Policy Summit, which uh, do I need to announce the rest of the hearing? Or the hearing is no. canceled, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, which I think several commissioners will be attending either in person or, or virtually. Thursday, July 21st, we have agenda at 10.15 a.m. There's also a local public hearing in WR 2022-0345. That's Argyle Estates Water Supplies request for a water rate increase. That will be via WebEx at 6 p.m. with Judge Keeling. Tuesday, July 26th, a uh, local public hearing in WM 2022-0246. This is Rex Deffenderfer Enterprises, Inc., DBA RDE Water Company's application for authority to sell certain water assets to the city of Nixa, um, and in connection there with certain other related transactions. That will be Judge Sire. That is at the Nixa City Hall in the council chambers. That is at 715 Mount Vernon Street, Nixa, Missouri. That will be at 6 p.m. Wednesday, July 27th, we have agenda scheduled at noon. Uh, Wednesday, July 27th through Thursday, J 
July 28th, we have an evidentiary hearing in EO 2022-0064 and EO 2022-0065. That's the fourth prudence review of costs subject to the Commission Approved Fuel Adjustment Clause of Evergy Metro. Uh, that is in room 310 and via WebEx at 8.30 a.m. with Judge DePel. Monday, August 1st through Friday, August 5th, we have an evidentiary hearing in EF 2022-0155. That's Evergy's application for a financing order authorizing the financing of extraordinary storm costs through an issuance of securitized utility tariff bond. That will be in room 310 at 9 a.m. with Judge Clark. Wednesday, August 3rd, agenda at 10.15 a.m. Monday, August 8th, local public hearing in ER 2022-0129. That's Evergy Metro's request for authority to implement a general rate increase for electric service. That will be via WebEx only uh, at noon and 6 p.m. with Judge Hatcher. Tuesday, August 9th, uh, local public hearing in ER 2022-0130. That's Evergy West's request for authority to implement a general rate increase for electric service. That will be via WebEx only at noon and 6 p.m. with Judge Hatcher. Wednesday, August 10th, agenda at 10.15 a.m. We also have a local public hearing that day in ER 2022-0129 and ER 2022-0130. That's Evergy West and Evergy Metro's request for authority to implement a general rate increase for electric service. That will be via WebEx only uh, at noon with Judge Hatcher. And then Thursday, August 11th, we have an evidentiary hearing in EC 2022-0163. That's Del Mar Gardens Enterprises, Inc. complainant v. Union Electric Company, DBA, Ameren, Missouri, respondent. That will be in room 310 at 8.30 a.m. Judge Keeling. So that schedules us out through about the middle of August. We have a lot of hearings and local public hearings uh, on the docket. Uh, any comments, questions, or requests regarding scheduling through August 11th? All right, hearing none, um, that just leaves us with the closed item we need to discuss. So um, that will be, uh, I will make a motion to go into closed uh, session under section 610.021 sub 1 to discuss litigation. Is there a second? I second. Second. Seconded. Seconded. Seconded by Commissioner Kolkmeyer, who was signaling to me visually <laughs> prior to Commissioner Coleman uh, speaking okay. up. So, uh, seconded by Commissioner Kolkmeyer. Is there any discussion on the motion to go into closed session? All right, hearing none, uh, all those in favor of going into closed session under 610.021 sub 1 and then immediately adjourning for the USB meeting, say aye. 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 That motion carries 5 to 0. We will clear the room and continue with close, then adjourn and reconvene for USB. Question on the 25th. Okay. I don't have that on the calendar. That you, you said a hearing was on the 25th of uh, July. Did I mishear that? I had one on the 26th. 26th, I have that. 6 p.m. Yeah, no, uh, we'll probably get that. Nothing on the 25th. Okay. Okay, I missed. I miss there was a long list there. Yes, there was. Um, is Heather clearing the line? That is my name.